Today we have brought you a bunch of updates. Tesla ramps hiring for 4680 pilot line in Fremont. Tesla Model Y production at Giga Shanghai surges to 1600 units per day in September. Tesla registers Cyberquad trademark, but not for the Cyberquad itself. And, Tesla sues man for $650,000 in defamation lawsuit after he won $150,000 from the automaker. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has started a hiring ramp for its 4680 pilot line at the Fremont factory on Cato Road. Tesla's careers page shows that the EV maker opened positions for production associates to work on the 4680 manufacturing line. People applying for the production associate positions must be 18 years or older. Tesla states that no prior experience or degree is required to apply for the job. Based on Tesla's description of the position, production associate positions are a physically demanding job, seen in this photo. Tesla also posted a job for a pilot line associate manager. Unlike the production associate position, people applying to be a manager for the 4680 pilot line must have extensive experience, as seen in this photo. Tesla's recent hiring ramp for the 4680 pilot production line at Fremont hints that it may have solved the calendaring challenges mentioned by Elon Musk during the last earnings call. There are a number of challenges in transitioning from sort of small-scale production to a large volume production. And not to get too much into the weeds of things, but right now, we have a challenge with basically what's called calendaring, or basically squashing the cathode material to a particular height, Elon Musk noted, at the Q2 2021 earnings call. Once operations at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin start, Tesla aims to build Model Y vehicles with structural battery packs and 4680 cells. However, Tesla does have a backup plan using non-structural battery packs and 2170 cells. Musk also shared that the massive amount of equipment for high-volume cell production at Giga Austin and Giga Berlin were either on order or set to arrive at the facilities. He estimates that Tesla could reach an annualized rate of 100 gigawatt hours a year sometime in 2022. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y production at Giga Shanghai surges to 1600 units per day in September. It appears that Gigafactory Shanghai has achieved a notable milestone this September. As per recent local reports, Tesla's China-based electric vehicle plant reportedly hit a production rate of 1600 Model Y per day in September. This was a substantial increase from Giga Shanghai's Model Y output in August, when the company produced 1,000 units of the all-electric crossover daily. The update was posted by China-based publication, IT Home. Citing an anonymous source that's reportedly familiar with the company's operations, the publication noted that Tesla's Model Y production at Giga Shanghai effectively increased by 37.5% in September, compared to the previous month. Tesla China also produced the Model 3 at a rate of 800 units per day in August 2021. A production rate of 1600 Model Y per day is incredibly impressive. Even if Giga Shanghai's Model 3 production rate was stagnant this month, after all, it would still mean that the company now produces around 2,400 vehicles daily. This number is likely to improve further, especially as Tesla continues to optimize both its Model Y and Model 3 lines in Giga Shanghai. If the China-based publication's information proves accurate, it would mean that Giga Shanghai would be able to strengthen Tesla's Model Y supply to other territories in the fourth quarter. The China-based Tesla plant, after all, now serves as the company's primary vehicle export hub. This designation was established in recent quarters, with Giga Shanghai focusing its operations for exports during the first months of a quarter, and the facility focusing on the local market in a quarter's latter half. Tesla China's Model Y production is incredibly important for the company's expansion into the international market. 
With Gigafactory Berlin's launch being delayed, Giga Shanghai effectively stepped in and provided a stream of Model Ys for the European market this third quarter. Tesla Model Y sales in Europe formally started in August, and so far, the all-electric crossover has been received fairly well. In Norway alone, it took only one week before the Model Y became the country's best-selling electric vehicle. As the third quarter comes to a close, Gigafactory Shanghai has entered what could only be described as a plaid mode of sorts, with the facility churning out Model 3s and Model Ys at a rate that seems notably higher than before. This should help Tesla make Q3 2021 its most impressive quarter yet, and one that would likely establish the Model Y as the company's most successful vehicle to date. Moving to the next update, Tesla has filed a new trademark application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, but it isn't for the Cyberquad itself. Instead, the patent covers two classes, games, toys and sporting goods, and clothing. In November 2019, Tesla unveiled the all-electric Cybertruck. A completely electric pickup, capable of insane performance specifications, CEO Elon Musk rolled out the Cybertruck with chief designer Franz von Holzhausen at the company's design studio in Hawthorne, California. At the tail end of the presentation, everyone thought the Cybertruck was all that Tesla was unveiling that evening, until Musk stated that an ATV, similarly designed to the Cybertruck, was also planned to be introduced in the coming years. However, no real details have been shed by Tesla or anyone for that matter. Tesla applied for the trademark for the Cyberquad in September 2019, under six different US classes. The six classes were vehicles, electrical apparatus, machines and supplies, cutlery, machinery, tools, and parts thereof, filters and refrigerators, belting, hose, machinery packing and non-metallic tires, and finally, dental, medical, and surgical appliances. Internationally, that trademark is classified as vehicles, apparatus for locomotion by land, air, or water. Moving to the last update, Tesla sues man for $650,000 in defamation lawsuit after he won $150,000 from the automaker. Tesla has decided to sue a Chinese man for $650,000, claiming defamation, following his victory against the automaker in a separate lawsuit where he won $155,000. Han Chao has posted images of legal documents that indicate Tesla is suing him for 5.05 million yuan, or around $650,000 for defamation. Tesla is also demanding a public apology, a strategy it has used in other defamation suits in China, where the company has been undergoing a very public attack on its products since the beginning of 2021. The lawsuit's basis seems to indicate that, following the closure of a previous case, that saw Chao win more than 1 million yuan, or around $155,000 from Tesla, Chao continued to defame the automaker on social media. Chao used terms such as, a quack, calling Tesla a rogue and rubbish company, following his victory. Han has been spreading his words through a series of online and offline action, leading the public to have a negative impression of Tesla, causing damage to the company's reputation, Tesla said in a statement, the South China Morning Post said. Han issued a response on his personal Weibo account, stating, do you mean to say, even though you need to pay me more than 1 million yuan in compensation, even though I am the victim, I cannot say a bad word about you and need to pay 5 million as a price? The follow-up suit from Tesla comes just 10 days after the conclusion of the previous suit, where Chow was awarded a sizable payout for purchasing a second-hand Tesla Model S in May 2019. Han said, that the vehicle had numerous issues, including banging noises while driving and having the car lose power during operation. Han decided to take the Model S to a third-party company where evidence of repairs that would be consistent with an accident was discovered. Han claimed sales fraud because Tesla claimed the accident was minor. Tesla stated that the vehicle was not structurally damaged and that it did not commit fraud during the sales process. A court later ruled that Han was right. Pictures he gave to the court ultimately concluded that if the damages were shown to Han, 
before buying the car, it would have impacted his decision to purchase the vehicle. Tesla told Han that the car did not have structural damage, so the court ultimately decided the company was wrong and committed fraud and was required to pay Han the sum of $155,000. The South China Morning Post wrote, the court ruled that the case constituted consumer fraud and Tesla should return Han's payment for the car, plus compensate him with a fine of three times the purchasing amount. After that event, Han's subsequent social media posts against the company encouraged Tesla to file a new lawsuit. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.